Hello there, dear viewers, and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host, and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. And in this episode, I want to highlight some freebies for you. So the apps I'm referring to are Baby Audios, Magic Dice and Magic Switch. One of them is a multi-effect and the other one is a chorus. Both of these apps are completely free with no in-app purchases and they're based on Baby Audios desktop effect plugins. By the way, I can't even begin to tell you how much I love the way they handle the interfaces. The 80s style kind of influence here is just, yeah, it looks awesome. Now these apps are iOS universal, meaning you can get them on iPhone and iPad. They load as AUV3s, so you need a host such as Audiobus or AUM or a DAW like Cubases or GarageBand. Both apps also have very minimalistic graphical user interfaces, basically just a button and a fader. Now Magic Switch is basically a Juno styled one button chorus, just load it up turn it on and mix it in. And there you go, fat, warm, nice sounding chorus. Now Magic Dice on the other hand is a multi-effect and to me it primarily sounds like a delay slash reverb effect. Now it can do way more things than that because it can reverse delay stuff, it has modulations in there and every time you hit the dice you get a random patch. It's really fun to just hit that dice and you get something new every time. I know I talk a lot about having a lot of control and how I crave control in a lot of apps, but you know, sometimes something like this is really refreshing, especially when you just wanna experiment and you're not really sure what you want until you hear it. Now it doesn't get simpler or easier than this. However, there is this one thing I want to bring up and it's the topic of presets. Now it doesn't make any sense for something like Magic Switch here to have any factory presets or any way of saving presets. It's basically just an on-off button with a mixing fader. However, when it comes to Magic Dice, there's results I've gotten to while hitting this dice that I just simply want to save. And when you're loading an AV3 into a host, then you can save presets through the internal AUV3 preset system. Now these presets that you say will be locally saved to that host and so if you open that same plugin in another host you won't find the previously saved presets from the other host. They don't cross connect. But it is nice to be able to save presets at least with magic dice because like I said many many times I've gotten results I just want to be able to bring back. You know, this thing would actually look better in gray. So let's just fix that. Bring it in here, invert it, blend it a little bit. Yeah, it, it just looks way better. Baby Audio, I hope you do this change. Oh, and if you do want to share presets, then you can find the presets that you saved locally in a host. If you go into the Files app, go into the Host app, look for that specific audio unit folder, and then you can find the presets in there except from AUM because it names these, oh, it's so weird, look at this. The presets are basically inside audio unit presets 
and then <laughs> you have to locate which one of these nicely named folders that are actually holding the presets that you want. A suggestion would be to just make sure that the list is sorted by date. And so you have the latest first and that way that folder with the most recent presets in it, they will pop up to the top of the list. Makes it easier to find. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But before I round this video off, I just want to mention another free app by Adam Hall. This is also a one button style Juno chorus called J underscore no. And yeah, that's all it does. It's an AUV3. It's for free. No in-app purchases. It's got two chorus buttons and you can even combine them for a really wobbly type of uh, chorus. You can find links to all apps down below in the description. And if you do grab these and end up using them, make sure you hit up the developers on Instagram, Twitter, or wherever they might be online and give them a huge thank you. Now, before you leave, why don't you hit this video with a thumbs up if you liked it and a thumbs down if you didn't like it. And if you want to support the work I do on this channel, then I suggest sharing this video, doing a little commenty thing down below because algorithm goes likey. If you want to support me in a financial way, then always check out my music first. Full list of links down below. And if you don't want to do that, I've got Patreon and PayPal. And if you don't want to do any of that, then that's okay too. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.